everyone, it's Amy, and I have a Dollar Tree Retro Candy Taste Test. But before I get into that, these Brock's Gummy Worms are absolutely amazing. If you see these, buy these. They're so good. And the expiration date's not till um, January 2019. So, yeah. Alright, today we're looking at the Big League Chew Bubblegum Out of Here Original. We are looking at the Now and Later Splits 2-in-1 Soft Chews. We're looking at the Blue, Raz, Blue Raspberry Blow Pops. I remember when these first came out in the early 90s. Love these. Well, at least I loved them back then. I don't know about now. Where there's original Caramel Hard Candies. These Risen, Raisin, Raisin, I don't know how you say that. But these thingamajiggers, I remember them from way back when. I don't know if I ever tried them. So. And the Red Bird Assorted. These are Southern Refresh Mint since 1890. Natural and artificial flavored candy puffs. What do you want to try first, babe? Okay. One with the Red Bird puffs. Alright, you get this is an 8 ounce bag. This is limited time bonus sauce to boss as much. So if we like these, we'll go get some more. Made with pure cane sugar. Made in the USA. These come in key lime, pink grapefruit, cotton candy, strawberry, vanilla, watermelon, lemon, orange, green apple, and passion fruit. Um, naturally flavored and artificially flavored. Ingredients are cane sugar, invert sugar, natural or artificial flavor, citric acid, red 40, red 40 lake. Yellow 5, blue 1, and red 3. Um, 7 servings per container. You get, a, you get to eat 6 pieces, 120 calories, 31 grams of carbs, 31 grams of sugar, and that's it. So thank you for selecting our Red Bird candies. Our authentic recipe uses pure cane sugar, never corn syrup. We've been perfecting soft candy treats from our home in North Carolina. Yeah. For over 125 years, and we hope you enjoy eating them as much as we enjoy making them. Chris Reed, candy maker. So this is Lexington, North Carolina. Now we've had the green apple. We bought just a bag of the green apple, and we didn't like those. I'm gonna try this one because I think this is cotton candy. Is that what you're trying, babe? I really like the peppermint ones. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like cotton candy. Yeah, that's the cotton candy colors on the back. It doesn't taste bad. Let's try the... I think this is orange. This didn't taste like cotton candy to me. What do you think, Dad? Mm -hmm. No. Is there another orange in there? No. Okay. That's orangey. That's pretty good. What do you think, man? I don't like any of them. <laughs> Why do you keep eating them? Trying one of each. Oh. So far, he doesn't like any of them. I don't think they're bad. I don't think I love the peppermint ones, and I would definitely say the peppermint ones are a lot better. I don't know what's like. This is probably green apple, which I've already had. They smell bad. What do you mean they smell bad? Mm, smell them when you smell it. This one's passion fruit. They smell like... 
They don't smell bad. They smell kind of like a... Like a buttery, like you're um, boiling uh, sugar and butter down in a pot. I think they smell good. Passion fruit was good. Okay, Tommy didn't like those. I think they were okay. I'm gonna say a three. I'll knock them down to a three. But I don't think I'll buy another bag. I'll just stick with the peppermint ones. I know a lot of people like these, so give them a try. It's like a dollar for half a pound of candy. You can't go wrong with that. What do you want to try next? Okay, let's try the Big Leaf Chew. Tony and I remember this from our childhoods. I grew up, <laughs> I grew up in East Tennessee, and um, my uncle chewed tobacco, and I just I wanted to emulate everything he did. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so I was always a fan of this. Zach or. <laughs> Tony's sitting over there looking, probably thinking, no, not Zachary. <laughs> Zachary was not a chewer. <laughs> oh, funny story. My uncle Zachary is like eight years older than me. Um, so he's always been like my older brother, and him and Tony were best friends in high school and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, this says Bingley Chew Bubblegum Out of Here Original. A whole lot of gum in every pouch. 2.12 ounces. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read all that backstory crap. Uh, ingredients is sugar, gum base, corn syrup, glycerol. Less than 2% of natural and artificial flavor. Soy lithocin, aspartame. Aspartame, a celophane. Celophane? Salt colors red 40, red 40 lake, cornstarch, and BHT to maintain freshness. Isn't that the stuff that there's BHA and BHT that you're supposed to avoid in dog foods? And they're putting that crap in. Okay, so far I'm not liking this. First of all, it has aspartame. I'll tell you right now, that's gonna knock some that's gonna knock some stuff off. But the fact that it may possibly have a preservative that's dangerous. Um, yeah, that's that doesn't sell well to me either. I'm gonna put a lot of cornstarch on it. <laughs> Are you okay? Grab my tongue. <laughs> I like it. It's got the um, same flavor and texture as Hubba Bubble, which I love, but it also has aspartame, so I don't get it anymore. And yes, I just eat gum. I know it's supposedly bad for you. I did it as a kid. My granny did it. Probably still does it. <laughs> so I was never taught any better to not eat my gum. So, flavor's really good. Yeah, I really like the flavor and the texture, but I'm going to have to knock it for having aspartame. Oh, yeah, I forgot to read the nutritional facts on that. It's got eight pieces, eight little shreds. has 10 calories. There's 20 can, uh, servings per container. And two grams of sugar, and that's it. All right, what's next? Mm. I guess let's stick on the fruity root. New now and later splits, two in one soft chews, lemon lime, lemon blue raspberry, lemon strawberry. This is a 4.25 ounce container. Nine pieces, and there's three servings in this container. I have 150 calories, one gram of fat, four grams of sodium, 34 grams of sugar, 24 or 34 carbs, 24 grams of sugar. It's made with corn syrup, sugar, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, citric acid, 
salt, egg whites, artificial flavor, soy lecithin, potato starch, yellow 5, red 40, and blue 1. These are a product of Mexico. What was the Big League Chew? Big League Chew was made in the U.S. One blue what? Huh? You said it had one blue and one, one blue what? <laughs> blue one. Oh. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't care. This one's kind of un... This one's sticky. Alright, uh, they had lemon lime, lemon blue raspberry, or lemon strawberry. Strawberry. Please. Thank you. I'm going to have the blue raspberry. And probably like Starburst, the wrapper's probably edible because it just sticks to the candy and you can't get it off so you have to eat it anyway. So thank God it's edible. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look as clean and neat as the package picture. Mmm, nice and soft. That's got a nice lemon flavor. Nice lemonade. It, it, it does taste like lemonade. That's pretty good. What do you think, babe? I don't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like anything. No, I'm kidding. Um, I like them. Oh yeah, the strawberry one isn't good. Here, have this blueberry one. Or not blueberry, but blue, ra bleh, blue raspberry. So I like the blue raspberry one the best. The lemon one. Okay, so I don't think he likes those. Eh, give him a three. Okay, let's try these. I re say that. This is the chewy chocolate caramel covered in rich European chocolate. 45% mm -hmm. cacao. There's cow in there. <laughs> so it looks like. I don't know why they didn't make these. I don't know. Doesn't say. Ew. No. These are in date, but they have definitely... When this happens to your chocolate, what's going on is it's not bad. But it's definitely had a temperature fluctuation. Like this has got probably got really hot in shipping. Because these are good till January 2018. What? Very bitter chocolate. Hard. Um Four pieces has no wait. There's a serving size of four. What? Yeah, serving size of four pieces. Two per container. Sorry, we may here be here a while. Um, 170 calories, six grams of fat, 3.5 percent saturated fat. 15 milligrams sodium, 28 carbs, 15 grams of sugar, 1 gram of protein, 2% calcium, 7% iron. Glucose syrup, semi sweet chocolate, um, sugar, condensed whey, palm oil, condensed steel milk, cocoa processed with alkali, sorbitol, hum I don't know, I can't say that word. It was even made in Germany. Contains less than 2% of whey powder and modified potato starch. Why oh, isn't you put your cold nose on my toes? Come on, your nose is cold. 
That's not me, by the way. <laughs> no, that'd be Gideon. <laughs> I don't know. See, this one doesn't look weird. It's a really hard caramel. Which, I like chewy caramels, but I don't want my teeth pulled out at the same time. I like the flavor. It'd be better if it was milk chocolate. Yeah. Shouldn't I eat another one? Because now it's, we're back to the chewing. Okay. Where there's original. Purple hard candies, the classic candy made with fr real butter and fresh cream. 2.65 ounces. Oh, this was 2.65 as well. They're made by the same company, Stork. It's, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, the old world recipe. These are also made in Germany. Three pieces has 70 calories, one gram of fat, half gram of saturated fat, less than five milligrams of cholesterol, 60 milligrams of sodium, 14 carbs, 10 grams of sugar, made with sugar, glucose syrup, cream, condensed whey, butter, cane sugar, uh, cane sugar syrup, salt, soy lecithin, emulsifier, and artificial flavors. So, yeah. Um... I don't know why both of these use glucose syrup. You know, what's wrong with just using some real freaking sugar? I mean, not that glucose syrup's bad or anything. It's just, can't we use real ingredients ever anymore? Is that so hard? A few people are watching this that make this, which I highly doubt. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these got so much smaller. Or maybe I was just, could just be where I was a kid. They seem smaller. Yeah, it's the flavor I know and love. The chewy caramels are good. The soft ones I didn't like. I just don't like soft caramel. I like the green apple filled ones of these. Yeah, these get a five all day long. Same for Tony. Did I give a, a rating on these other thingies? These chocolate things? I'm gonna say two and a half. We're not having luck. Okay, these things better be what I remember from my childhood. I do not condone chewing on your hard candy. You will ruin your teeth. But we don't want to be here all day while I'm sucking on this thing, so. I don't know why I'm laughing. No, I'm not chewing mine. I'm enjoying it. Well, you got to pop one of these things in your mouth. Mm. I'll just kind of lick it a little. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blue raspberry, low pop. You get five in here, 3.25 ounces. One pop has 70 calories, 17 grams of carbs, 13 grams of sugar. Inclu includes 13 grams added sugars. 18% of your daily calcium. Wow, that's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but these are made in the USA. These are made in um, Covington, Tennessee. Hmm. Mm. Sugar, corn syrup, gum base. Gum, not good, but <laughs> um, citric acid, starch, artificial flavors, glycerin, artificial colors, including FDNC blue one, FDNC red 40, turmeric coloring, BHT. That it is a preservative. Yeah, this is what they look like. Same packaging as the 90s. 
Let's hope they taste as good as they did in the 90s. And I saved these for last because <clears throat> these do take or turn your tongue, teeth, lips blue. So. Let me have another drink of water and get that uh, caramel flavor out of my mouth. Sorry about that. Sometimes Gideon just goes back crap crazy. <clears throat> These don't have as much of the tart flavor as I remember back in the day. They do still taste similar. Are my lips blue yet? This doesn't taste like childhood, like I was expecting. Mm -mm. <laughs> Tommy's trying to bite it. <clears throat> but it's bad for your teeth. Didn't I just get done telling the people at home that it was bad for their teeth? Let me see your tongue. <laughs> your teeth are so blue. <laughs> Mine are too, weren't they? <laughs> I told you. Sort of familiar. I don't know if it's just been so many years since I've had them or. Do you any the do any of y'all remember these from back in the nineties? I told you not to chew them. <laughs> you break your teeth out. When this came out, there was also a cinnamon one that came out. It was like flaming hot or something like that. Anyway, they just don't taste as good as I remember. Don't you hate that? There's some things that I'll try. I keep trying over and over again. You know, I'll wait like a long enough to forget that it. Well, not really forget, but, you know, like you'll eat something that you used to love as a child and you're like, good Lord, this is terrible. And a few years later, you try it again. Yep, it's still terrible. yoo -hoo for me. Oh, yeah, yoo -hoo is disgusting. Oh, my God. I can't drink yoo -hoo. It's like muddy water. Mm -hmm. I loved them as a kid, but it's like now, every so often I'll get one, it's like, why don't they put some flavor in this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, and I think it's got a sucralose in it now. And also like Kraft macaroni and cheese, like the one that's got the powder in it. Mm -mm. I'm sure y'all can't even take me seriously <laughs> sitting here talking like I, or looking like I had some fun with a Smurf. Anyway, um, 
think the only thing we'd buy again is the Werther's Originals. I might buy these again in a few years when I when I hope they taste as good as they did back then. And I'll probably be disappointed again. They just had so much more flavor. Of course, your taste buds are different when you're a child. It really is true. They, like, literally change. <coughs> Sorry. They literally change over time. So, that's it for our video. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss me again looking like, looking like this. Alright. We'll see you next time. Bye.